Is he in there? Just sat down. Are you nervous? Why? Do I look like it? <laughs> Don't be. You'll do great. Good luck. Thanks. Wait, please. Our funding's been cut, Elizabeth. I couldn't keep you if I tried. Space program has officially disbanded any search for survivors of that mechanical flyer aboard the International Space Station. And William Cross, thought to be the only survivor, has been presumed dead. Cross was a six-year veteran of the space program, and he will be missed. But what do all these recent developments mean for the future of NASA? This and more when we return. Hello? Houston, do you read? This is William Cross. I'm aboard the Orion. Wait, you're who? I fixed the onboard communication, but I don't think it'll last. Who am I speaking with? I'm not NASA. I'm just... I don't... Contact NASA. Let them know you're speaking with me. William Cross. Please tell them I'm alive. How do you know he's playing me? You won't even talk to him. Yes, of course, I called NASA, and I've tried the radio observatory and the Griffith. No one will talk to me. No, I'm not drunk. Look, I don't care. Just just make some calls, okay? I, I need this favor. Hey, so I talked to a friend of mine. He might know someone at NASA who can help. He's doing everything he can. Would you mind staying on the line? I'd like to know what's going on down there. Yeah, sure. William, right? Yes, ma'am. Call me Will. Oh, okay. Well, Will. How is it up there? I like it. It's calm. Does it ever get lonely? Not with mission control breathing down your neck, that's for sure. I'm Elizabeth. I grew up just outside Chicago. No, I've never been to Chicago. Winters suck. I used to just 
hole up in my room. I got too cold. Where do you live? Right outside Tampa. Must be beautiful. I hate the humidity. It drives me insane. Yeah, I guess. So you're in school? What are you studying? Astrophysics. I'm at MIT. Wanna be an astronomer. Impressive. Um, not really. I'm, um, leaving. At the end of the semester. Why? I don't know, it's just... Easier as a hobby, I guess. Well, that's not really an excuse, is it? Hey, Will. You there? Yeah, sorry. I uh, got a hold of a couple more people. Hopefully we get a call soon. Have you been able to get through to anyone else? No, but I'll keep trying. Stay on this frequency so I can find you again. No problem. How's it going up there? Just enjoying the view. I wish I could see it. God, I'm gonna owe you so big when I get home. I'll take you out for drinks one night. I'll show you a good time. Define good time. What do you mean? What would we do? I take it there's no special someone. No, that's not really in the job description. I wouldn't have time. Oh, so you're one of those people. Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, you know. Besides, I wouldn't do anything on a first date. Oh, really? I was raised better than that. What if it weren't the first date? Your entire family's military? Yes, ma'am. My father was a Marine. His father before him. My brother and I, we joined the Air Force. I'm sure that went over well. We never heard the end of it. Especially him. My brother was the favorite. Is he still in the Air Force? No. I lost my family in a car accident. I don't know what to say. That's why I joined NASA. That's all I've had ever since. Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Hi, sorry I'm here. It's really late right now. Do you need to get some sleep? No, I'm fine. No. Go get some rest. You sure? Yeah. Don't worry about me. I'll scan some other frequencies while you're gone. OK. Well, 
Hey, did you hear from someone? What do you mean? Your friend. Did he call you back? Oh, no, I'm sorry. He said it would take some time. You don't sleep much, do you? I just miss talking to you. Do you know what I just realized? I don't even really know what you look like. I mean, I think I saw some pictures on the news. Brown hair, really short, if any. I remember you look pretty good. You've been training. They don't let unattractive people into the space program. And you're probably tall. I mean, you've been in space. Less gravity makes your spine decompress. Did they teach you that at MIT? Excuse you. OK, what about me? I think you're brunette, too. Something tells me you're not very tall. Oh, OK. Hey, you asked. But I think you're pretty put together. And you're beautiful. I feel like you're the type of person who doesn't know just how beautiful you really are. I wish you were here. I could touch you. Look at you. You. Sorry. I had to turn that off. Is, is everything okay? I am. Uh, I've been running out of oxygen. Elizabeth. You okay? Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm sorry. Don't be. Thank you. By the way, knowing you're on the other end of the radio, it's been everything. I'm glad. Well, hello? I miss my son. He means everything to me. I had to give him up. And now I haven't seen him in years. I lost track of what really matters because I always had to be the best. Well, now it's too late. At least it all meant something. You've done things. You made the world a better place. At least that means something. But you can't do that? I was never the best and brightest will. It's hard. Nothing was ever simple. It doesn't have to be. Making it isn't about 
always been the best. Elizabeth? lost contact. I, th I think he drifted out of range. I'm sorry. Elizabeth Law, Masters of Physics, MIT. Okay. Would you please tell us why you'd like to join NASA? 